Hi, I wanted to talk today a book called Listen, Listen, Listen. It's a book that I compiled some 40 years ago. I don't claim it as authorship, but I compiled it. It's based upon 52 Sunday talks given by my teacher, Lewis. My name is Star, and I live in Thailand in Phuket at Friendship Beach Resort and Atmanjai Wellness and Detox Center. My teacher was an amazing man. He was a student of Leon Bordeno, whose first student was Madame Blavatsky. So she died in 1896, so you can see that he was pretty old when Lewis, his last student, was with Leon. Other students of Leon's were Nikola Tesla, Manly Key P. Hall, John Paul Foster Case, Paul Foster Case. Oh, there were 12. And we find this magic number of 12 throughout the universe. So what these people that come in with extended perception really don't know what to do with it. They come in with a job to perform and lo and behold, we find out they volunteer to come here to do a specific job. So they come with all these abilities and all these intuitive thoughts and all these things, but they don't know what to do with it. So they go to a teacher and the teacher puts the, all the puzzles, the pieces of the puzzles together. Jesus went to the Essenes, Buddha went to the priests, and in this case, my teacher went to Leon, as did Nikola Tesla and Adam Ovasky, like I mentioned. So I was very blessed to live with Lewis for 10 years. <laughs> and I was exposed to many, many things. I could ask him a question on any subject and he would know the answer. Can you imagine that? It didn't matter, the life of Jesus, how to solve the AIDS crisis, what to do about broken bones, and can you make a bone glue so that we don't have to put the casts? And it just didn't matter. But most of it was of a high spiritual nature. He was very good at psychometry, that is, just touching something, and he could tell you where it came from about the year, the costumes of the people dancing around, it was a shard of pottery, the, the costumes of the people dancing around the fires and on and on and on. And he dated many things for the Smithsonian Institute just by that, just by that. Had many interesting, interesting experiences with him. I remember one time that we were driving down the streets of Sun Valley, Idaho, and he said, I have to go into this store. He went in and he came out with a pottery thing, a small fountain. And I said, Lewis, we're traveling. How are we going to get this back to the island? He says, oh, it doesn't really matter. He said, I had to go in there because the lady needed the money. Well, this is the kind of experience. He was not very well grounded in what we think are normal things in life. He was off kind of in the ozone, right? And he did things that were extremely unusual. I could go on and on. But I wanted to talk about this book because this is an amazing we went through, I think, five printings of this, and then we ran out of books, and that was it. But it's being redone at this point. My name isn't on it, although I put it together. Lewis's name is on it as the author. And I want to leave you with this to give you an idea. Listen to the voice within you. It speaks of truth. In other words, your intuition. Listen to the whispers of nature. The wind sings its song. And boy, do we know that. I'm here on the ocean in Phuket, Thailand, looking at the water, listening to the waves, seeing the trees. It's so wonderful. The trees whisper ageless wisdom. The earth nurtures you with eternal healing. Listen to the past, the present, and the tomorrow. They are all one and the same, viewed from different mirrors. When we release this, it would be really nice if you had this as a coffee table book it's wonderful, 52 chapters, and I think you'll enjoy it. Thank you and God bless.